What's up everybody, I'm Biggs and this is Lime Time Garage. Now, this garage here is the second garage that you guys have seen. The first garage was uh, in Wilmington, uh, California. And it was just a one little, one car garage, tiny, about the size of this right here. And that was it. And it was full of junk. And it was almost impossible to record out of or do anything really out of. I think I made like two or three videos from there and I just kind of like put it on back burner. The situation then was really difficult for me to get everything together to make a series of videos that I want to do or things that I want. But, and I can't even get my real camera out today. I'm on the, the Sony cam. Um, and it's, usually I shoot on Canon. I have a Canon SL2. Um, it's right here. So, I went through all my batteries, uh, couldn't get anything but this one to work, but so anyways, it works. So, the cars, the fleet, right? I have one car here, oh, I have one car here. This car is my daily driver. It is a, like, it's not fancy or anything. It's, it's not you know something crazy but you know it's a pretty damn good daily driver I gotta say that so I'm gonna flip the camera and show you here it is 2017 Toyota Corolla that's a four-door you can see the four-door it's really dirty right now I'm not giving it a proper intro um, but it's got this little sport mode package in there this is a LE model um, I don't know what the LE stands for but it's not the the, uh, the best model uh, it's got some dents and scratches and dings and I even jacked up the front of this thing. It wasn't my fault but uh, you can see right there. It was uh, early in the morning and a freaking uh, oh, a rock hit me in the summertime there. Did you get it? Yeah. Um, but yeah I got hit in the front with a bunch of dollies and I came off a, a truck. I got my tools in the back right now but uh Got a little speaker upgrade. We did a little stereo in this thing about, I don't know, like a couple months ago. But I, I wanted to run the stock head unit uh, to keep it stock, but uh, we did the door speakers. We did the six by nines. Oh man, you can see that stain right there. Oh man, I gotta clean this thing. It's like super dirty right now. And I got some nicks in the seat. But I mean, to be honest, it's the, uh, so it has the upgraded door panels, but the cheaper seats. I didn't like the leather seats really. You know, in hindsight, thinking about it, see it's got like the nice leather dash and stuff. This car came with the nicer seats, but I didn't want to pay for them and trying to be in a cheapskate and figured these would be better, but it was actually probably better to get the leather. But anyways, we could always uh, get those, swap those out. It's not a big deal. The only real bummer inside here is like down here I got like a little uh, carpet wear on there but I mean like I said I don't even want to show you right now because it's like way too dirty but uh, it's my daily this is this is my daily I tend the windows too so we got the the stereo done and I tend the windows it's like black all the way around uh, got some crap in there for work tomorrow but eh, it's okay. It's a it's a good little daily. And I even did the uh, front windshield. You can't really tell, uh, but the front windshield is tinted. If you can see in here, see over here, the yeah, right here, it's like lighter right there, and it's darker over there. And it's a little bit. It's like a glare tint, but it's really helpful. And I think I got a hundred. 128,000 miles on this thing. So I, I got this car when it was only three miles. So, so far so good. All right, so you see my daily. Um, I'm gonna go to my storage. I have my Weekend Warrior, which is a classic cruiser. It's an 85 Cutlass. I got real super cheap. Um, someday I'll tell you a story about that. Uh, but yeah, I just picked it up a couple months ago. So this is the two car garage. This is kind of like where I wanted to work out of. But as you can see, you got my sister's car here. And it's kind of hard to get to the tools and whatnot. Um, you can see I got my tools there. 
got these benches here pretty cool picked them up from I think Mervin's you guys remember Mervin's they used to be like a store they had those uh, benches there in the back and they were getting rid of everything so I was like ah, I gotta pick that up so I picked those up for like 175 bucks 150 bucks a piece uh, anyways uh, yeah so got my little camera bag here got everything I really need but it's not really charged up I, I didn't charge anything and I'm like I'll be damned if I let it go another day without making a video or something just do something right so I'm doing it um, I don't know how the sound quality is like I said this is just a Sony cam <laughs> it's not the best but it's kind of cool it's like OG I like, had this cam when I had the first channel so anyways Shout out to Peter McKinnon. I got his nomadic bag. Really cool bag. Um, this is my actual camera that I will be using. Um, if you guys can see it. This is the Rebel uh, SL2. It's really cool. It does, uh, like, I think 28 megapixel pictures. And it does, like, uh, 1080 video. Uh, so it's pretty cool. You can shoot full-on movies with it. Um, I'm not that good at all as you guys will see and check out but it does the job for me and uh, I like Canon um, out of all the cameras I think Canon's like the one that I'm going to stick with um, so anyways uh, I like it, it's an older line uh, you know like you guys you could have like a bunch of newer cameras and whatnot, but the problem is it's like it's expensive you know that stuff is expensive now I do know some of the newer ones there's like some new new stuff that's inexpensive but still you you can use like if I can get a newer camera that can use the older glass because that's where the money's at right then I'll, I'll keep doing that so I like the EF lenses this is like the EF mount uh, those of you know cameras you know but that that's that so anyways uh, I spent a uh, fair amount of time yesterday getting this cleaned up I had so much crap on here and this is not in a what I consider working state um, this is like a here state I still have like my stereo surround sound steel here pioneer what's up you already know what's up but uh, I, I haven't put that up or in or installed anything we have a power issue here Damn, I live like by a wheel. It's not a racetrack, it's a street, I swear. <laughs> this thing is like busy street right here. But uh, that's another reason why it's like hard to shoot in here. Um, but I would still, I'll still shoot no matter what, I don't care. Uh, so I kind of have everything like just chilling right there. Uh, I haven't really gone through this stuff. Um, I was going through a bunch of stuff yesterday and I was just like trying to throw stuff away and it just it was a lot it's a lot of work and I got to get this thing out of here to be able to do it properly so I got to lay all the stuff out look at it and keep going from there but anyways I wanted to give you a an idea basically of the garage that I'm in where I'm at now what I plan on doing oh actually we have electrical issues right that's the only power supply. I have that in there. I don't even know if it works. It'd be cool if it did. I'd love to hook up a welder to it. The guy that had this place before had a welder. Um, don't know if it was working, but we, we have one, so we might have to give that a, a little try later on. But uh, for now, this is kind of like the garage. Now, I don't plan on doing a lot of mods here. Um, I like to take those to a real garage. I have several garages out here. I'm in SoCal. So basically like anywhere down the street or wherever you go, you're gonna you're gonna have access to a garage. So for big big builds and stuff like that, I don't really do that much stuff. Uh, I might mess around a little bit with the daily. Uh, the cutlass is gonna get some stuff here and there, little mods here and there, but um, for now, if I don't do any big builds, I'll talk about uh, racing, I'll talk about like history, I'll talk about anything and everything to do with cars up into like the stuff that I'm interested in, what I like and, 
And I, like I said, I'm a car vehicle nut. I love bikes. I love anything with a motor. So that kind of stuff. But uh, let's go check out the, the Cutlass and see what that's all about. Uh, it's stored in another location because I can't obviously fit it here. Uh, so we will see you on the flip side. Oh, man. Hate to break this up. I'm, I'm trying not to do clickbait crap. But I screwed up. New channels are only allowed 15 minutes for each video. I've recorded over like an hour of footage. It's great because I got footage coming your way. It's bad because now I got to break up and tease this first video. So I'm sorry I had to edit this. I'm sorry. We did go check out the Cutlass and whatnot. And I'll show you in the next video. Uh, but... At least you can see the garage where we'll be operating at, and you can see my daily for now. So um, we'll start there. You gotta start somewhere, right? You gotta crawl before you walk, right? Okay, I get it. I apologize. Thank you so much, and be in tune for the next video. You'll see the cut list, and we'll go from there. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate you watching, and please, by any means, if you can subscribe click the notification bells and tell your buddies your friends about it if you like the channel great uh let them know and until then catch me in traffic